Yo, what is up guys? Ryan back from Fur to Heat. Welcome, welcome on this beautiful Saturday today. Uh, I'm going to do a quick balcony review. I haven't done a balcony review in quite a few days now. It's probably actually been maybe like seven or eight days. Might might have been over a week. Doesn't feel like that long because I had made a bunch of videos like in a row. I think I made like <clears throat> 22 videos in a row or something like that. But I took a few day break because nothing was really happening. Kind of just wanted to see how the YouTube analytics would go if I didn't actually post. And of course, they went like this, straight down, straight down. So yeah, we'll go ahead and take a look outside here, guys, though. Got some uh, got some good stuff happening. Nothing crazy yet, but definitely within the next week, considering how good the weather is supposed to be, we should have an insane amount of peppers coming on this plant. Uh, there's already quite a few, but um, yeah, many, many, many more to come. And a bunch of these have started actually producing fruits as well over here. But yeah, lots of flowers for sure. As you can see, that fuchsia plant, too. That fuchsia plant as well is beautiful. River. <laughs> Rivy, Rivy. Yeah, check out this fuchsia plant, guys. Just about to blossom, like any, like literally could be today, even. Look how beautiful that one, like that one, too, dude. It's going to be beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah, ghost pepper is doing half decent. I went crazy just because it, was, it wasn't was like, it's a smaller plant anyway. And hopefully we will get a decent season because the weather's been so decent. Um, I did end up topping it though. Probably, I don't know, maybe a week ago. And it has grown a fair bit. Like it's definitely growing from the bottom up now. Um, but I do, I mean, I do wonder now if I hadn't have topped it, what it would look like. But it is definitely still growing. Um, but I am having an aphid problem, guys. Not a big one, luckily. Um, well, actually, kind of. I'm fighting it off. It could be a pretty big aphid problem. But as you can see, I've got the thyme plant, like, intertwined with these guys. Because these, these two plants were, very, like, probably the first ones to get um, infested. But have taken care of these plants, at least for now. Um, but quite a few over there. I'll show you guys. Still have some aphids on it that I'm fighting on the daily here. But yeah, check this out, guys. This is the Carolina Reaper plant. So is this guy. You can see two very different Carolina Reaper plants here. This one's more like bushy, canopy style. And this one's like a little bit leggy, but also just like a freaking straight up tree, dude. So yeah, hopefully these will be producing relatively soon here. You can see, definitely got the nodes. The nodes going on there, getting ready to flower, which will be nice. Quite a few in there, too. You can see that one's going to be a beast, man. Hopefully that guy doesn't fall off. But yeah, that one would be a beast pepper, dude. Be eating that one. But yeah, you can see a bunch more up here, too. So yeah, hopefully those will be flowering in the coming days. Um, then in here, you can kind of see in between the two reapers is this um, jalapeno plant. You can see I actually got it kind of staked with some freaking straws <laughs> all the way up here. Hopefully it'll grow all the way. It's already grown quite a bit. Like, it's probably already grown like that much up to here. But... You can see that other little one that started growing at the at the base here. I've got it, I've got it tied up there, and it's actually starting to flower, which is nice. So we'll have some jalapenos coming on this plant soon. Um, the burning bush, the burning bush, guys. Look how many nodes this thing's gonna have, man. Look how many peppers this thing's gonna have. It's gonna be unbelievable. You can maybe see there are a few flowers in there just starting to uh, push out the peppers. I don't know where a good example is probably underneath in there but yeah there are a couple peppers definitely producing on this plant now and maybe you can see here in the jalapeno just in there just right there guys you can see those two jalapenos dangling and those big big beauties yeah this is the jalapeno big guy you can see it's grown massive right out of its cage so there's going to be producing some big boys soon here too and over here the hungarian sweets man i believe these what are they called again yeah the hungarian wax sweet peppers you can see definitely some being pushed out now bunch more flowering you can see they're just the plants are just starting to make their v and make their canopy so it's getting getting big getting beautiful starting to push out some peppers <laughs> rivers like see this dog see this dog she's in my plant <laughs> river come here sweetie Come here. <laughs> you crazy. What are you doing? Oh, crazy dog, but yeah. This is the big Bertha. You can see just getting the pepper to push out there. Getting a big boy right there. Hell yeah. River, stop it. Stop messing with my plants, girl. She is addicted to eating plants. I swear to God, it's not good. It is not. That's why I always have to guard her when I'm out here. Guys, cut another jalapeno plant. This is the one that I got. I think this is the most recent plant I got, actually. 
couple jalapenos, bunch more. Come look at all those flowers. And those should be pushing out peppers. Still, still, look at that fly. That's that's the enemy, that fly. Still waiting for the canna lily to blossom though. Still waiting. Hopefully one day. We gotta check this out, the strawberry. Look at that guy. Hopefully that guy will start ripening up soon. But unfortunately, that dog you just saw ate pretty much most of the rest of them. There's just this other one dangling here. But yeah, she ate two of the other ones, if not three. River. <laughs> yeah. Cayenne long thin. Look at that. Just one guy on there. Nothing special. Just one guy. Bunch more to come, though, hopefully. And yeah, um, I, where's the example? There, man. Uh, shoot. I'm not sure exactly where the plant is, but yeah, I did have, oh yeah, here. You guys could probably see it just in there, just right. I can focus in on that bottom leaf. You guys might be able to see the aphids there. It's just so hard to see, but yeah, right there. You can see on that bottom leaf, the aphids, man, they're, they're, I'm fighting them off, but they're definitely causing me some shit. They're definitely causing me some crap, man. Big old tomato plant. Bunch of, you can see a bunch of tomatoes just starting to get ready to flower there. Oh yeah, the raspberry bush, guys. Raspberry bush is coming strong. That should be producing very soon here. You guys can literally see the fruits in there. And they're everywhere. Like I said, there should be like hundreds on this bush. You can just see them everywhere. Very, very beautiful. That's the reaper getting all that basking in the sunlight. Remember this, guys. This reaper was way down here. when I, It wasn't even out of the five-gallon pot. Now look at it. Or should say planter, but yeah, now look at it. It's like a foot tall. This is that Trinidad scorpion that I had inside. It's not a reaper, it's a scorpion, but look at that. It is making new progress. Brand new pro I, I complete this thing was like dead. I swear to god, I was about to write this off and throw it out, but I saw a couple leaves coming up and now look at it. Very beautiful. Yeah, and look at this tomato plant, guys. Again, when I got this tomato plant, it was like right here. Very small. Look at it now. Right out the top, being freaking like three feet tall. Massive. Got another one, little smaller one in there. Got the banana rama, cayenne long thin. <coughs> Again, like I said, they're just starting to want to flower and get and produce, but no crazy pepper action over here yet. You can see the eggplant. The eggplant's actually doing really well, guys. Look at that thing. That eggplant, if it starts producing, I will go crazy, but yeah, look how massive it's getting. Freaking awesome. Peppermint's doing amazing. Look at that. That was dead, guys. If you guys go look back at my videos, that was like dead. <laughs> so yeah, it's so nice to see. So nice to see. And yeah, <clears throat> the finals, guys. The final. Look at that. Big old fajita pepper. Remember how small that one, guys? Small that one was, guys, when I picked it for the, uh, the sauce. Now it's a massive. There's still another one in there, too. But yeah, hopefully it'll start growing even bigger. You can already see it is growing. It is growing after I pick those peppers. The super chili. A couple of them are actually ripe now, good to go. I'm gonna pick those later today and make a sauce, probably with those fajita peppers and some Thai chilies as well. That's at least the plan. I'm gonna give my give my buddy a hot sauce. He asked for one, so I'll give him one. Hey guys, this is the habanero bush. Again, this thing fell over like a couple days ago, right onto here big 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 branch fell off i probably lost like 20 30 pepper nodes which is crazy but at least at least with uh with nature's god-given gift of one uh branch breaking off it started pushing all the nutrients and stuff elsewhere so it started like flowering and pushing out peppers like crazy you can see the pepper bunch of peppers in there guys you can probably you can probably make them out better than i can but yeah look at that guy right there bunch of habaneros to come yeah guys and that's the update for now thank you so much for tuning in pretty much damn near 10 minutes but that's because it has been a while and there's there's a lot to update but there will be a lot more soon thanks for watching guys peace out take care